leave a like and subscribe. The Cray twins and their 41-year-old brother Charlie were arrested after a series of dawn raids in London on the 8th of May, 1968. In total, the police arrested 18 men and took them to West End Central Police Station to help with inquiries relating to offences including conspiracy to murder, fraud, demanding money with menaces and assault. More than 100 detectives raided homes and offices all over the capital in the largest operation of its kind ever carried out by Scotland Yard. The Cray brothers were the first to be arrested when police forced their way into their mother's council flat at Braithwaite House, Finsbury. They were in bed at the time of the police raid, were ordered to get dressed and were then taken in separate cars to the police station. Former amateur boxers, they were well known as businessmen and owners of a number of nightclubs in the East End, West End and Knightsbridge, mixing with various celebrities. Detectives also made arrests in houses and hotels in other parts of London and the home counties. The entire operation was conducted under strict secrecy by Commander John Du Rose, operational head of London's CID, after 18 months of investigations. The following you will hear is an AI-generated voice, but the words are from Ronnie Cray speaking from Broadmoor Mental Hospital about that morning back on the 8th of May, 1968. The beginning of the end for me and Reggie probably started at Christmas 1967. We had a good Christmas, but we didn't realize that Nipper Reed had been to see Billy Exley. Reed was a superintendent working from the murder squad at the yard. We knew about him, but we never thought he was anything special. We still don't. Exley, the man he saw, was an ex-boxer who did odd jobs for us. He wasn't an important member of the firm, but he knew bits and pieces. We know now that he and Reed met at Exley's little flat in Woodseer Street, in the East End although Exley wouldn't come clean till later. In his book, Reed said, Once Billy Exley began to talk to me, so many pieces of the jigsaw began to fall into place and I learned that Jack, the Hat, McVitie and Billy Exley were sent to shoot pain. They finally came for us on the 8th of May 1968. It's funny, really, because after all the bad times I'd been through with my mental problems, I'd been starting to feel a lot better, much more like my old self. And Reggie was in good form too. The night they came for us had been the kind of night we always enjoyed. A few drinks at the pub with some of the firm, then up the West End for some action at the clubs. We went to the Astor Club, off Barclay Square, and we sat there drinking and talking till the early hours. We never thought anything was up. We knew there were some plain clothes detectives in the club. We could always spot them a mile off, but that was nothing unusual. They were always following us about. Me and Reggie eventually left the Astor and drove back to a flat we owned at Braithwaite House, in Old Street. He was with a girl. I had a fella with me. We all had a nightcap and went to bed. We were all sound asleep when there was a hell of a commotion. I woke up to find my bed surrounded by police, some of them armed. They were led by Nipper Reed and they'd smashed down the front door to get in. I noticed they were carrying .45 caliber Webley pistols and one of them was holding an iron bar. Reed said to me, you are under arrest. Get out of bed with your hands in the air. I was stark naked but that made no difference to them. Reggie was brought into the room and Reed said we were being charged with murder and other offenses. He asked us if we'd got anything to say, and Reggie said, Yes, Mr. Reed, we've been expecting a frame-up for a long time, but we've got plenty of witnesses. There's a lot of people wanting to help us. At the time we believed that. We knew we had a bit of trouble here, but we didn't think it was anything we couldn't handle. We'd been pulled in before and managed to sort it out. What we didn't realize was that, while we were being arrested, squads of armed police were smashing down other doors all over the East End and pulling in anyone they could find. There was something like 18 arrests that night, 
all carried out at the same moment, and all of those arrested were kept well apart, so that no one knew what was going on. They pulled in everyone that night except Scotch Jack Dixon and my right-hand man, Ian Barry. They arrested Dixon a few hours later, and they picked up Barry next day in a pub in the East End. We were all sent to different prisons and Reed started to work on the weak ones, the liars, the traitors, and the grasses. If you enjoyed the video please join our Facebook group, it's called, Praise Crime Lords of London. We're a friendly moderated group with over 1000 Cray and other celebrated gangster videos available for view. There's also thousands of images in the photos sections. The link for the group is in the YouTube description section. I hope we see you there soon.